Welcome to zip9.com. Uh, this is the eighth video doon sa ating series on positive and negative numbers, no? Doon sa pangatlo or doon sa tatlong previous videos natin ay diniskas natin kung paano ba mag-add ng integers. At dito sa video na, na ito ay pag-aaral natin kung ano ba yung mga properties of addition. Ano ba yung mga special, what are special about addition at kung ano ba yung mga pwede natin gamitin pag tayo ay nagko-compute ng mga mas complicated na addition problems, no? So, let's start with the first property. So, kung napapansin ninyo, pag tayo ay nag-add, for example, 3 plus 5, at 5 plus 3, no? Regarding of the order, pareho yun yan ang sagot, no? So, pag pareho ang number na ina-add natin, kahit anong order niyan, for example, in this case, 3 plus 5, binaliktad natin ng 5, uh, 5 plus 3, the answer is still the same. Okay? So, and you, you can do that, you can test for any number, no? At palaging para yung sagot niyan. Ang tawag natin sa ganitong property ay, ito yung tinatawag natin na commutative property. Commutative property. So, in general, kung meron tayong numbers A and B, A plus B no, is equal to is equal to B plus A. No? Kung gusto nyo experiment, pwede, pwede nyo rin itry sa, sa decimal numbers, sa fractions, and you'll see that uh, this property also holds. No? So, for A and B, where A and B is any real number actually. Hindi lang yan positive integers and negative integers, but also uh, rational and irrational numbers. Okay? The second property is uh, for, for addition to zero. No? So, pag tayo nag-add 4 plus 0, no? ang sagot ay 4, no? Pag binaliktad natin, kasi by commutative property, 0 plus 4 is still equal to 4. So this, this uh, property is called the additive identity property. Additive identity property. Ang addition, may yun siya tinatawag na additive identity. No? Ay, ibig sabihin ng additive identity, kahit anong i-add mo sa number na yan, yung sagot pa rin ay that number, ang additive identity natin dyan ay 0. So, if we add 0 to any number, the sum is equal to that number. No? So, for any a, a plus 0 equals a and 0 plus a equals a. I'm sure familiar kayo sa mga properties na yan. Hindi lang natin masyadong nakahighlight. But then, uh, these properties are already familiar to you even when you were still in grade school. Okay? Ang third property natin ay pag nag-add tayo ng, ng opposite or numbers with opposite signs, no? Isang positive tsaka isang negative tapos parehong number. For example, 4 plus, oh, 4 na tayo. 6 plus or positive 6 plus negative 6. 0. No? So, katulad dun sa example natin dun sa uh, number line, ang positive 6 is a movement from 0 to the right of 0. 6 units. And then, nung no, nag-negative like 6 ka, it moves back 6 units. So, babalik siya dun sa 0. So, positive 6 plus negative 6 is equal to 0. So, kung hindi nyo alam tong addition using the number line, click nyo na lang yung yung uh, link sa iba ba, no? So, meron tayong uh, detailed or details ng video na yan. Pa paano. Of course, by commutative, commutative properties, negative 6 plus positive 6 is also equal to 0. So, ang tawag natin dito ay additive inverse property. So, ang, ang positive 6, ang additive inverse niya ay negative 6 at ang negative 6 ay ang additive inverse niya ay positive 6. 
So dito a plus negative a is equal to 0 and negative a plus a is equal to 0. Of course, yung a natin dito positive yan kahit din natin sabihin. No? This is positive. And lastly, we have um, pag nag tayo ng number like 5 plus negative 3 plus 4. Paano kung inuna natin to? What, ha what will happen? So, positive 5. And by the way, before natin ito yung calculation or yung computation, as when you were in elementary school, ang natutunan ninyo is that kung meron tayong parenthesis, lahat ng mga numbers inside that parenthesis will be calculated first. So, dito, dito muna tayo magsisimula. No? So, ano ang 5 plus negative 3 muna bago tayo mag plus of 4. So, this is 2, right? And then plus 4. No? So, ito naging 2. No? This part here became 2. No? And then, saka tayo nag-add ng 4. Which is equal to 6, diba? Now, paano naman kung ang inuna natin ay plus negative 3 plus positive 4. So, positive. Lagyan na natin ang positive. Lahat. So, paano kung inuna naman natin to? Remember, pare-pareho yung given natin, ha? pare-pareho yung addends. But then, we, we are grouping differently. Inuna naman natin to. So, positive 5 plus unahin muna natin to so negative 3 plus positive 4 which is oh sorry inulit lang natin dapat, dapat kinumpute na natin ano? so negative what is negative 3 plus positive 4 Positive 1, di ba? This is positive 1. Which is equal to positive 6. So, dito pinapakita nito na kahit anong grouping mo, pag pare-pareho kayo ng addends, this becomes, or the answer, or the sum, still the same. So, kahit anong order. no? So, magiging, ang property na ito, ang tapag natin dito ay associative property. property. Okay? So, ang, ang ano nito, ang general equation nito is A plus B. Unahin mo yung A plus B bago ka nag-sub. Nag-add ng C and then equal to A plus B plus C. Na nandito naman yung, oh sorry, na nandito naman sa kabila yung, yung parenthesis. No? Okay? So, A plus B plus C where A plus B is calculated first is equal to a plus b plus c where b plus c is calculated first. Okay? So, yan na muna yung ating uh, properties of addition in the next video ay uh, magbibigay tayo ng example on how to use the properties of addition in adding more complicated addition problems. Okay? So, or in solving um complicated addition problems. So, kung nasa signahan.com kayo, you can uh, you can subscribe to our email or kung nasa YouTube kayo nanonood, pwede kayo mag-subscribe sa uh, channel, sa YouTube channel ng Signahan by uh, clicking the the subscribe button at the bottom of the video. Okay, see you in the next tutorial.